Yo. What up? All right. Um, so, uh, we got another one from Don't Tell Comedy. Shh. Don't Tell Comedy. Yeah. What we got? This is Eagle Wit. Taylor Swift is white privilege. <laughs> that can't be his name. What's his name? <laughs> his name is Eagle Wit. Okay. Okay. Eagle Wit. Yeah, Doesn't yeah. Taylor Swift? No, no, I just heard it all. I was just like, Eagle Wit Taylor Swift. <laughs> Eagle Wit Taylor Swift. <laughs> okay. Eagle Wit Taylor Swift is white privilege. Okay. What? Okay. But yeah, his name is Eagle Wit. Okay. He is a comedian, uh, you know, adult from Don't Tell Comedy. And the name of this clip is called Taylor Swift is White Privilege. Okay. okay. We saw a lot of Taylor Swift during the football season. Yeah, we definitely did. It was quite a treat for some. Some people enjoyed it, some people didn't. To me, you know, I could care less, right? You know? Uh, right. You know, it was like a second or two you saw her during the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, are you really that upset? And if you are, that's just, you got some issues. You just need to you know, relax. You we know. saw, like, Sierra yeah. during, like, Russell Wilson's games and yeah, shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? For a split second. I don't know. Split like second, like, I mean, yeah. You know. All right. I think, did, did, did she I mean, perform? she is like a mega star. I mean, you know I mean, can't blame it. But. Yeah, it's Taylor Swift. Right. Shit, that's like Beyonce or some shit. Exactly. Or, right. you know, or right. anybody. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, to that magnitude, right? Drake or somebody, you know, maybe Drake, right. yeah, anybody, right. yeah, okay. But yeah, but yeah, white privilege, she's white privilege, <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what Eagle Hood's got to say about white privilege, yeah, in Davis. I'm from here. I'm from Brooklyn. I used to be proud of it because Brooklyn used to be like gangster. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I'm not tough, but I act tough when I talk about it. Like it could be like an old lady. She'd be like, "Where are you from?" I'd be like, "Brooklyn, nigga." Like, like <laughs> <laughs> which is different. Brooklyn's Brooklyn. Like it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird being a minority from Brooklyn because you automatically don't like liberal white people. <laughs> Which is weird, because, like, they vote for us, you know? <laughs> but it's like the Brooklyn liberal whites are the worst in the country. <laughs> like, they'll go to a Black Lives Matter protest and go home to the neighborhood they stole from you. Aww. <laughs> 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 like, nigga, you know what's worse than voting for Donald Trump? Displacing black families. <laughs> That's worse. <laughs> <laughs> Some of y'all ain't want to clap at that. Oh! oh, oh. <laughs> I got one of them. <laughs> Brooklyn's just not tough no more, man. I think Chicago is the most gangster place in America now. Hands down. You know how gangster you gotta be to wanna kill somebody in the cold? <laughs> that means that you stayed mad while layering up. <laughs> that means that you were putting on thermals. Like, I swear to God, I'm gonna fuck him up. <laughs> Where's my scarf at? <laughs> You know how gangster you gotta be to pull a trigger with mittens on? <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know how I know Chicago's real? That's an old joke. And I did that joke one night and uh, I offended somebody. I offended this lady. Uh, and she came up to me after the show very upset. And uh, usually I don't care when people are offended, but it was a middle aged black lady. So I was like, oh, she's been through real shit in life. <laughs> Right? And she came up to me very aggressive. She was like, young man, I like your humor, but I don't fuck with that Chicago joke because I'm from Chicago and I don't like that shit. And immediately I felt bad, right? I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Maybe you know somebody who was like a victim of gun violence or something like that. And she was like, no, no, that's not the issue. The real problem is we don't use men's when we shoot niggas. <laughs> Is it, anybody gay here? This is the gayest set ever. Anybody gay? <laughs> Y'all gay over here? Fucking lit. One of my friends just came out. Yeah, one of my friends just came out. And, yeah, 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 okay. Uh, <laughs> Y'all niggas know him? Y'all know? No? Ah, <laughs> uh, you guys are just pandering. All right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he came out. I always knew he was gay when we were growing up, but I ain't say nothing because he could fight. <laughs> like I wanted to say something he was just too gangster you know what I mean like all my friends were tough but he was the toughest one and it was weird because I tried to talk to them about it like I'd be like yo you think he's a little mm. 
And they'd be like, man, you gonna say something? And I was like, nah, you were right. <laughs> he was too tough. It was weird because he was gangster and flamboyant, which is like a strange mix, you know? <laughs> like he'd beat somebody up and then he'd be like, girl, let's go get some pussy. I, think, <laughs> I don't think that's what he wants. <laughs> When he came out, I called him to check on him. I was like, hey man, how you holding up? He's like, honestly, you guys are the best friends I could ask for. Yeah, he's like, you show me so much love and support, I can't wait for you to meet my boyfriend. Yeah, I was like, that's beautiful. I was like, just so you know, I always knew you were gay. He was like, what? And I was like, nothing, I'm so sorry. <laughs> he's like, nah, you said you always knew I was gay. I was like, eh, you were different. <laughs> He's like, well, I wasn't gay. I was like, so what happened? He's like, I just met somebody and fell in love. Uh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the gay dude. Oh, right now. <laughs> like, I'm just saying, like, like, I've met a lot of amazing men in my life. <laughs> <laughs> like, never have I met someone so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Never have I been to the bar like, wait, you like the Knicks too? Oh, oh, oh. Ah. <laughs> I just don't think that's how it works. <laughs> I've learned a lot from having gay friends. I really have. Like, for instance, I'm black. I know I look like a Hawaiian lesbian, but I'm black. <laughs> uh, fuck you guys for laughing that hard at that. That was very much a throwaway, but all right. <laughs> I am. I'm black. And you know when you're black, sometimes white people say racist shit to you. You call them out on it. What's the go-to? They're like, buddy, I can't be racist. I've got black friends. <laughs> right? And you're like, mm, fuck you, right? Yeah, yeah. But now I've got gay friends and touche white people. <laughs> <laughs> That's a solid fucking argument. Uh, I'm sorry for ever doubting you. <laughs> I, I use it all the time. I say some ignorant shit. Somebody be like, That's homophobic. I'd be like, nah, my man suck dick. What are you talking about? <laughs> Smell his breath, smell his breath. Ah! <laughs> y'all are so fucking lit. Can I try something new with y'all? Yeah. yeah, this is some new shit. All right, here's some new shit. We'll see how this goes. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think Taylor Swift is white women's Larry Bird. Does that make sense? <laughs> Does that make sense what I just said? The yeah. dudes get it. Some of the girls are like, who's, who's Larry? Uh, <laughs> All right, Swifties, I got you. All right, here we go. <laughs> Larry Bird, for the dudes know, ladies don't know, uh, Larry Bird is, is a legendary NBA player, right? Hall of Famer, one of the best ever, and he happens to be white, right? And, uh, as, and he's great, he's great. And as a minority, you know if a dude's racist by one simple question. You're just like, yo, who's the greatest basketball player ever? And if they're like, Larry Bird, they hate niggas. <laughs> Taylor Swift. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? She's great. She's wonderful. She's unbelievable. But the best? Nigga, what the fuck are we talking about? <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> I made this nigga next to the stage catch the Holy Spirit. He's a like, oh. <laughs> I thought it, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just say like like I got to an argument with a Swifty. It didn't start out as an argument. I was just like, yo, what y'all love about Taylor? And she was like, Well, you have to understand in the history of music, there's never been a woman this comparable to the success of a man. And I was like, ah, cause Beyonce's got a dick. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? I just, all right, listen, like, I like Taylor, I do, I like Taylor. You know why I like Taylor? Because white women needed a leader. <laughs> <laughs> and Taylor stepped up, for real. Taylor fucking stepped up, all right? People talk about diversity in entertainment, very overrated, for real. Like, niggas, we've been fine. We've been tap dancing since slavery, we're fine. There's so many minorities in entertainment, it's fine. White women don't have enough representation in showbiz. You know why? Damn. It's not because people don't like white women. It's not because people are prejudiced against white women. It's because white women uh -huh. aren't talented. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Now we're having fun. All right. Yeah. All right. I know. All right. <laughs> All right, that's a bold statement. All right, it's a lot. That's a lot. All right, listen, no, no, no. There's like, no, there's like six talented white women. No, no there are. There's Taylor Swift, Margot Robbie, a couple other bitches. And, and, bro, and they're killing it. They're so good. You know why I'm ranting against Taylor? Because I, you know what I don't like about the situation? Is everybody talks about white privilege? Uh, Taylor Swift is the definition of white privilege. <laughs> think about this, think about this, right? In order for Beyonce to become Beyonce that we all know and love, right? She had to make like clan members' wives dance to single ladies. <laughs> Seriously. It's fucking amazing. Taylor Swift has zero black fans. None. I've Damn. never met a black Swifty. Go to a Taylor Swift. Damn. 30,000 screaming white people. <laughs> And they're like, security, you can take the day off. I know you don't want to hear this shit. <laughs> There's no black Taylor fans whatsoever. She Damn! One of the biggest stars in the world with no black fans. Damn! Damn! If you put a gun to a black person's head and was like, name a Taylor Swift song, we'd be like, uh, give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, they don't like that. <laughs> that crowd don't like that. The yeah. argument kept going with the lady, with the Swifty, because uh, she felt bad when I said the Beyonce thing. She was like, you're right, that's not very intersectionality of me. <laughs> she was like, we need to remember our black queens in entertainment, right? And I was like, yeah, nah, I, ain't <laughs> <laughs> I let her off easy, I was like, nah, it's cool, don't worry uh, about it, right? And then uh, she was like, but you have to admit, on a business level, and I was like, chill out, bitch, Rihanna's a billionaire. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. You guys have been great. My name's Eagle Witt. Thank you so much. That nigga has some strong takes. Uh, <laughs> that nigga has some strong takes. <laughs> that was funny, man. God damn. <laughs> I'm sure Taylor Swift has some black fans. <laughs> it's impossible not to have no black fans. <laughs> Exactly. Like I'm sure, I'm sure. There's she no got, black fans, you know, Asian fans, you know, Indian yeah. fans, you know, they got fans worldwide, internationally no. You know what I'm saying? So, but you know, I don't yeah. know what Taylor Swift song is. No, I absolutely um, do not know one. I probably could sing, maybe. I, I'd be capping. I'd be capping. I, 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 I probably I, couldn't sing along to anyone or even lip sing one too. I could probably lip sing one pretty good, but and you know, I definitely would not be able to give a name of a Taylor song. No oh, Beyonce song. I know a hundred Beyonce songs. <laughs> I know a hundred Beyonce songs. <laughs> Shit. Okay. I mean, you know, just just from just hearing them, you know what I'm saying. So I mean, yeah. I don't know. All right. But I'm All sure. Right. I, I know. I know Taylor has black fans. She was at the Super Bowl. She was at the Super Bowl with Ice Spice. I'm a fan of Taylor. You know yeah, I'm yeah. I'm a nah, I'm a fan of Taylor because you know she's just two black friends for Taylor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Even though we don't know a damn song. <laughs> you ain't got to know that you just got to support it, man. You know what I'm saying? I guess, yeah. Right. Right. Yeah, but I'll win. Right. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Eagle Wit, man. Eagle Wit. Funny Eagle dude, Wit. Man. He don't care either. He's he's one of those that don't care either. Say, <laughs> he said he look like a Hawaiian <laughs> lesbian. <laughs> 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 He said, I'm black. I know I look like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I thought it was Indian or something. I didn't know what he was. Right. Native American. So. Native, yeah, I didn't know what he was. <laughs> oh, man. Stupid. But yeah, man. Funny dude, man. Let me get some more wit. <laughs>